Undisputed has been in early access for over a year and a half by now, but Steel City Interactive's boxing sim is finally ready for release in full. The game will soon be exiting early access, which will also be accompanied by its release on current gen consoles. And given the fact that we do not get nearly as many boxing games as fans of the sport would like, it comes as no surprise that there is a decent amount of excitement surrounding Undisputed's 1.0 release. As such, as we prepare for its launch, here we're going to look over some key details that you should know about what it'll bring to the table. Movement. Steel City Interactive has been promising the most authentic boxing sim mechanics with Undisputed since day one, and a lot of that will come through with how you control movement. The game will offer players complete control over how they move around the ring, including fine control over footwork and stamina, with the flat-footed movement and loose movement options. That will mean that every step, pivot, and slip will be in your control, as per the developers. Offense and Defense Beyond its movement and footwork mechanics, Undisputed will also tout over 60 different kinds of punches for players to unleash at opponents, from hooks to uppercuts to jabs to much, much more. On the defensive side of things, clever footwork, blocks, and what have you will be crucial to not only evade attacks, but be able to counter incoming moves. How you time your attacks and defensive maneuvers and how you manage to move around the ring will greatly inform how you perform in a fight. Roster Undisputed is, at the end of the day, a fighting game, and a fighting game lives and dies by its roster, so what should be expected from the game on that front? At launch, it will feature over 70 playable fighters across 10 different weight divisions, which, as per Steel City Interactive, is the most licensed fighters that any major boxing game has ever launched with. On top of that, the roster is also casting a wide net in terms of how much of the sport's history it will cover. Want to play as contemporary champions or a rising star? You can, of course, do that. But if you want to step into the ring as legendary fighters from different eras, you will have that option as well. Additionally, each boxer's in-game model has also been created using scanning technology. Stats Undisputed is touting meaningful differences in the way that the fighters and its roster will feel to play as, and a lot of that will boil down to their stats. Each fighter has their own range of stats and traits, covering everything from their health, recovery, and stamina, to their guarding, agility, and the power of each individual hand, mental attributes, and so much more. Each fighter will also have their own unique style of fighting that will correspond to their real-world counterpart. So if there's a specific style of punching or guarding that a certain boxer is known for, you will likely see them operate the same way in Undisputed as well. Career Mode Undisputed's main attraction for many is going to be the career mode, which will allow you to play as a rising star attempting to climb through the ranks, consistently grab more belts, trounce a series of opponents, and become the Undisputed Champion. Players will be making key choices throughout the mode, including what coaches you want by your side, what sort of fight deals you land, and more. And each will, as you might imagine, impact how your career pans out in unique ways. More Career Mode Details Career Mode will task players with managing their career and finding consistent success over a prolonged period of time, which, of course, will mean having complete control over your training and training camps as well. What kind of camps you choose and the areas that you choose to focus on will be key decisions that will also impact your rise to the top. Multiplayer For those looking for a multiplayer experience, Undisputed will have options on that front as well. Players will be able to matchmake with others, with Steel City Interactive confirming that ranked matches and leaderboards will also be available. Meanwhile, those looking for something less competitive or those looking to simply play against their friends will have the option to create custom lobbies. Prize Fights Outside of Career Mode and its aforementioned multiplayer component, Undisputed will also feature an additional mode in the form of Prize Fights. Each fight in this mode will be a limited time event that will come with unique conditions, from tasking you to fight as a specific fighter to setting specific win conditions, among other things. Prize fights will be regularly rotated, so players should theoretically have plenty of reason to keep checking back in. Character Creator 
In addition to letting you play as over 70 licensed fighters, Undisputed will let you create your own fighter from scratch. On the cosmetic front, the character creation toolset will let you tweak a number of different aspects of your fighter's body, face, outfit, and much more. Beyond that, you'll also be choosing things such as your punching and fighting styles, preferred stances, blocking style, and dive into the traits and stats governing your character's attributes. Venues Steel City Interactive has confirmed that Undisputed is going to have six venues in total upon its full release, of which one will be an outdoor venue, while one, Coldwell's Gym, will be a larger arena. Whether the developer intends to add more venues to the game following its release remains to be seen. PC Requirements Undisputed's upcoming full release is, of course, bringing the game to PS5 and Xbox Series X and S. But what about those who wish to play it on PC? On minimum settings, the game's demands are pretty reasonable, requiring either a 3.4 GHz i5 7500 or a 3.2 GHz Ryzen 5 1600, along with either a GeForce GTX 1660 or a Radeon RX 590 and 8GB of RAM. Meanwhile, the specs are a tad more demanding on the recommended setup, as you would expect. You will need either a 3.7 GHz i7-9700K or a 4.2 GHz Ryzen 5 3600 along with either a GeForce RTX 3070 or a GeForce RTX 2070, or a Radeon RX 5700 XT along with 16GB of RAM. On either setting, you'll also need about 40GB of free storage space. And that'll be about it for this one. If you guys like what we're doing at Gaming Bolt, please consider subscribing to our channel, and I'll see you guys on the next video.